good Sunday evening. Welcome back to the place to be reviews. I am Etep Kuyan right here with all the yous. Right now we are bounding into comics. Before Walking Dead was on, I want to cut this quick video. And uh, just kind of go through this with you real quick. Rumor, Disney remaking almost whole movie of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. This came out yesterday John F. Trent. And uh, rumors are that it is being completely reshot. Like, not completely, but a lot of it. Like, a lot. Like, way more than they should be. Uh, reshooting a couple months before it comes out. A new rumor indicates Disney and Lucasfilm are remaking almost all of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. The rumor comes from YouTuber Doomcock and Hail Doomcock. I am a loyal subscriber, member of the Doomcock army. <clears throat> Doomcock details the rumor he received from his source. I have Star Wars info. They are still shooting. They were having to remake almost the whole movie as what they tested as the movie was a complete pile of flopping shit. And I love this picture because that is just J.J. Abrams as Jar Jar. Jar Jar Binks is smarter than J.J. Abrams. Doomcock adds, this is not some kind of casual two-week reshoot. This is almost a 75% remake. They shot the thing so there were six possible main edits. And even then, there was no way to put it together that would not have flopped. And now this just sounds like Justice League right here. Uh, Doomcock continues. Jar Jar Abrams said this film will not please everyone. Disney flipped out and said that this film has to please everyone and redo it until it does. If they cannot get it to perform in tests, this is the end of this particular reboot. <laughs> oh, oh, I... As, as much as it pains me. I don't mind. So this is what they get for doing this to Star Wars. You had a, you had a perfect, uh, perfect formula laid out by George Lucas, and you chose to ignore that and go this way. <laughs> How'd that work out for you? Doomcock adds that his source tells him that they have soloed the film in reference to the massive reshoots that Solo, a Star Wars story, had, which was up to 75% done by uh, Ron Howard after they fired Lord Miller from that project. As to what the problem with the film might be, Doomcock source speculates, I suspect this movie is having problems with trying to force too much plot into the film, and now they may have the problem that they are having to consider splitting this into two movies. <laughs> uh, and I'll have a Freddie Prince Jr. video coming tomorrow, uh, as well as episode number 70 of the podcast, Monday Night Going and Raw. Uh, as to what some of these plot details could be Doomcock explains what his source told him. Apparently Ray could raise both the Death Star and the Dead by the end of the film. No, seriously. <laughs> I, I would give myself a frontal lobotomy. That is so horrible. Like, why? Why? Why do you... <laughs> if she's done after this, are they just going to, like, completely, like, even OP her even more than she already was? Doomcock does not discount the idea of Ray raising the dead because he believes Star Wars and Lucasfilm will attempt to put Luke, Leia, and Han Solo on screen together. Oh, it's cringy. While Doomcock believes... The idea of reshooting 75% of the movie a little over two months from release date seems impossible. He does recount the story of Star Trek The Motion Picture. Star Trek The Motion Picture was rushed to its premiere with wet prints that had just been struck. It came down to the wire, that bad a wire on Star Trek The Motion Picture. Uh, he then adds, the other little bit of evidentiary support for this notion is the fact that we were promised the Star Wars trailer was going to break and then it didn't. Wouldn't the reason for a Star Wars trailer being held up and not breaking be that they don't know still what the fucking movie will be? Doomcock then details another source, tells him, Disney realizes or fears at least that they have devalued the Star Wars brand. They have also, according to this other, changed the direction of the film substantially. This will be buried like the Snyder Cut of Justice League. 
Oh, God. He adds, the source also claims that they are trying to make a movie in the editing bay at this juncture. Previous rumors have indicated that Rey would obtain healing powers, making Star Wars noted that Rey would gain a new ability that would allow her to, quote, heal or even rejuvenate life. With Darth Vegas, the wise, only one knew that. Now it's Rey. I love Daisy Ridley, like, literally, but I just... I don't. The character of Rey was bad. They explain the Rey and crew get attacked by a sandworm alien, which reveals an inexplicable new superpower Rey possesses, the power to heal or even rejuvenate life. The heroes battle the creature and almost kill the worm, and then she uses her power to repair or heal or even bring it back to life. This rumor is backed up by Reddit leaker Jedi Paxis. The only other part where my info differs is that I was told that instead of our heroes almost killing the worm, the worm basically has our heroes backed into a metaphorical corner and healing is what allows them to survive and escape the main story. Beat is the same, but some of the details panning out one way versus the other has slightly different impl implications on Ray's character. Yours makes it sound like the act was done from a place of power and out of pity, while mine implies compassion in the face of danger. Hmm. Mm. As for the idea of Rey raising the Death Star, that theory was circulated back in August from Disney. Star Wars is dumb. That was inspired by a concept art from The Force Awakens that shows a Death Star rising up out of the desert on Jakku. There that is right here. Mm. Let's see. What else we got? Rumors have also been swirling regarding multiple endings from people other than Doomcock. Most recently, former StarWars.com contributor Jordan Mason detailed that there were up to eight different endings for the film. <coughs> Oof. What do you make of this new rumor? Do you think there's any way Rise, Star Wars Rise of Skywalker could not turn out well if this rumor is being true? Um, I think that this movie will probably make money either way because there is... If I'm going to look at a picture, I might as well look at Ray making this face. I don't mind. Um... I don't think that uh, <clears throat> I don't think that this movie's gonna lose money. I really don't. No matter how bad it is. I mean, a main episode of this series. I'm not advocating anybody go see this shit. I'm really not. I mean, I, I'm a hardcore Star Wars fan, and I, this is it's it's insulting. It is truly insulting. And I was never anti prequels. Um, I love the prequels. I love the original trilogy even more than that. Empire is my number one film in the entire mythos. I really enjoy Rogue One, man. I, I like that movie a lot. Um, anything outside of that that Disney's done, Mandalorian. I'm going to be watching. Am I getting any Disney Plus? Yeah. I'll, there's some there's some stuff I want to watch. There's some stuff I'm going to review for the channel. So absolutely. Um, it's cheap. Why the hell not? But as far as going to see Episode Nine. I won't. Unless somebody buys me a ticket, like it happened with Last Jedi. At least then I was I wasn't as angry that I spent my own money on it. Because I have a feeling that this movie is gonna turn out just like that. It's gonna be a disjointed mess like this entire trilogy because you had the mi the master of the mystery box, Jar Jar Abrams. Then you have the subversive one himself, Sir Ruin Johnson of the House of Roundhead, that just completely destroys the entire mythos. Uh, and then you pitch it back to the mystery box idiot who started the entire mess by copying A New Hope. I mean, you basically copied A New Hope, then Roundhead, in a roundabout way, tried to copy Empire, but added in stuff that nobody cared about. Horrible. There's, there's just horrible characters. Like, these characters, and, and they could have been good. Like, Finn could have been a wonderful redemption arc. I mean, and if, if you really wanted to, you know, tout your diversity, it was an awesome redemption arc for a black stormtrooper who was stolen a child, stolen as a child and turned into a child soldier and then redeemed later in life by, you know, joining something greater than him and fighting for the greater good against the evil, you know, um, the same thing with Ray. I mean, you could have made her you know, get knocked down like Luke did, you know, get knocked down, suffer some losses, 
and said, I meet Temple Queen in the place to be your views. I've been here with all the yous, and if I don't see you, remember, have a great day. And a pleasant tomorrow. <laughs>